Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in once again and we are seeing who we can randomize as this time. Let's have a little look-see. Tainted Lilith, we did Tainted Lilith kind of recently. We did Tainted Isaac kind of recently. Tainted Bethany, there you go, there you go. Tainted Bethany, let's do that. Okay, uh, boom bow. Tainted Bethany's gonna be kind of an interesting one with Mega Modded. I can't remember if we've played as a yet in the Mega Modded. I don't think we have, but one thing you're gonna notice is all modded wisps will be mum's ring. Um, but we're gonna end up getting quite a lot of intriguing, uh, intriguing items within this. And I think this is gonna be quite interesting, especially with the changes to um, Tainted Bethany in the latest Repentance patch, making it so she can't just abuse item pools. It just favors the item pool rather than straight up giving you what's in it. I think it's a much needed change to this character. She's still super powerful even with that change. It just, it makes it a little hard to kind of insta break the game like you could before. By the way, I don't know what mod these little dude, these little poop dudes are from. I think they're from Ipecac, but big props to whoever did the sprites for their faces. Like, the fact that, the, that there's a, a few different unique faces they can have, it's really cool. Also, need to remember, red hearts are charges on this character. Keep forgetting that. Need to remember that because that is valuable info. Being able to get as many wisps as possible. It's like the wisps for the damage, it's not even like for the damage that you get from them, it's for the defense that they give you. Like the fact that they circle you and give you a bunch of defense, hey Jesus juice is great. That's hella good. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to pop it till the end of this floor, though, but that is really, really good. Uh, Jetpack. Ooh, okay. Grants flight, creates fires behind you. Mm, the, the, the granting flight part of it's pretty good. The creating fires, I remember, not being so good. But still, we can we can try that out. But yeah, having a way to now gain HP, even if we do have to do it after the boss if we don't want to get a devil deal, is going to be real nice. I think, honestly, almost all the time, I'm going to choose to not use it until after the boss, because that really screwed me up last time. Also, I keep forgetting... One of the mods that I have that resprites enemies resprites the flies, and I actually deleted those in the previous version I had, and I still haven't changed it back to um, the vanilla flies because I kind of prefer them. I don't know. What do you guys think? If you guys like the the modded ones more, then I'll just keep the modded ones on. Um, before I had them as the vanilla flies because I kind of prefer the vanilla flies a little bit, but it's, it's it's really up to you guys. I don't mind either way. Anyways, uh, we get ourselves yes, eye drops so good. We'll pop that and we'll move on down. So far, a good start. Not very modded at all. We've not got anything super modded going on apart from a few rooms, really, um, such as this one here. By the way, um, I'm going to mention it again. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it last episode. Honestly, I won't lie. It's been a few days since I recorded, so I can't remember what I last spoke about. But I did um, help the creator of Rooms Galore to heavily, heavily balance uh, the secret room and special room pool that they had. It was um, like it was very strong. Basically, the weights of all the of all the rooms were just very, very high for how good the rooms were. So I kept almost all the rooms the same, but I uh, lowered the weights on a lot of them to be a bit more reasonable. They're still higher than my mod, still higher than the Rare Secret Rooms mod, but they're a little rarer now, sort of between the 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 weight uh, as opposed to 1. So that mo the rooms galore should be a little less game-breaking in terms of how powerful you can get from Secret Rooms now, I hope. Um, I think I did mention this last episode, but like I said, I mentioned it again. Ooh, we got Whipped Cream. The faster our shots travel, the more damage they do. One minute. There you go. I do remember, uh, it was quite funny, actually. Um, the, do you know what? Let's just use the stars card here. Uh, ooh, Lookfoot's great. Um, I do remember, uh, it's quite funny, actually, that the um, the the Whipped Cream item, it's from uh, Ipecac. For a short time, it was really really broken because basically what it does is it increases your um it increases your your shots shot speed as it travels uh i think it's as it travels but it does more damage the higher the shot speed so if you got something like rubber cement the tier would just bounce and bounce and bounce and re reach ridiculous speeds and there was absolutely no cap on the damage values it could reach so i remember uh, in one run i managed to one shot um I managed to one-shot the uh, Ultra Ultra Greed. It was just, oh, it was awesome. It was just, it's just so satisfying. Also, I have since re-added the Creatures mod. Uh, I did disable it for a short time, but I think everything with it's been fixed now. Uh, as you can see, no, no errors in the, um, in the console there like we were getting before. So, more capable of using that now, which is really nice. It's a mod that I, uh, I quite like. 
been de definitely trying to sort of fix and tweak the uh, the issues with lagging. Ooh, we got Dad's Juice and Jesus. What the hell's Dad's Juice? Hmm. Uh, Dad's Juice sounds a bit wrong. Okay, but we got Dad's Juice and Jesus' Juice here. Not not sure how to feel about Dad's Juice, I'll be honest. Not quite sure how to feel about that. Anyways, let's kill our boss here. Super, super easy. Can't believe I managed to biff the bombs like that. <clears throat> Whoopsie daisy. There you go. Ooh, a soul heart as well. Red heart here. We can pop this now. Mystery bag. I think it, I think mystery bag needs a buff, by the way. I don't know what mod this is from, but it'd be really, really nice. Because it, it gives the same three runes every time, I think. I don't know for sure, but it feels like it gives... It always gives me a Yera, and it always gives me an Anza. Actually, no. No, because last time it gave me an Awas, so I'm actually wrong. Do you know what? I'm just going to use that on this floor and get the secret runes revealed. Uh, I'm going to take a pair throw into here and... Do you know what? No, I'm not. I'm... We can get at least one angel deal through this, so I'm going to I'm gonna wait for the angel deal. Anyways, let's uh, go to our secret rooms here, see if there's anything that we, that we might want. And um, we get ourselves a few cards here. Two of Wands duplicates our Wisps. Unfortunately, it does not work on um, on Lemmaget and Wisps, because that would be insanely overpowered, but it would also be great. Also, um, just as a little note uh, for Ipecac, uh, this isn't a guarantee yet, uh, so don't hold me to this, but in my spare time, I, I like I, I like Ipecac a lot, so in my spare time, I uh, spent a bit of time recording some voice lines for the... Um, for the announcements of the cards and pills. Ooh, Abundance. We've had this before. It's a pretty interesting item. Automatically uses space for items when they're fully charged. Does not work on items without no charge. That's kind of interesting. I suppose it could be kind of useful. I think we'll just take this for now, though. We're going to take Abundance. I, I still feel like Abundance isn't very good, but I'm going to take it nonetheless. Let's go up over here and get some free stuff out of this shop. I don't even know if it'll work on this shop, I'll be honest. Ah, doesn't matter. I don't have a key. Um... Anyways, let's keep going. But yes, I, I recorded some some voiceovers and um, like for, for pills and cards for the Ipecac mod, uh, just because I, I felt like um, I'd, I'd seen the developer who who actually recorded them, like the one with the two of ones there, uh, comment in a few videos like Lexus and stuff, saying, "Oh my god, these are so cursed." <laughs> so I just I thought I'd try my hand at doing some myself, like. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the Perthora, I'll, I'll be honest. I think I'm going to keep the Perthora. Um, yeah, I, th I thought I'd try my hand at them, and I think they turned out pretty well. So I actually sent them over to the developers, and they said that they might use them. And so we might end up seeing those at some point. So that's going to be pretty cool. One minute. I do apologize for the frequent pauses. Basically, my nose is a big bad bitch. Um, I've, like, not... My nose has been absolutely fine all day, all morning. Um, and then it's like, oh, you want to record a video, do you? Ah, well, I'm going to be the most annoying thing in the world and keep fucking making you snivel because you've had a cold. It's like, but yeah, but I was fine this morning. While held angel deals uh, and devil deals and treasure rooms will always contain a beggar. The type of beggar. Oh, that's really cool. I like the idea of that a lot. Pop that again. Acid, baby. We got ourselves an acid, baby. Enemies like this to shoot on the diagonal are so easy, to, uh, like so good at hitting your wisps. So I've really got to be careful around them because I don't want to lose too many of these. But yeah, getting um, getting specific beggar types depending on the, on the room is going to be nice. We do also have the ability here to uh, find a secret room, I think. That'd be rather nice. Ooh, need to destroy this guy quickly. Uh, he was the only enemy in the room. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is our secret room. You can just tell by the way the poops are arranged. There you go. Sometimes it's just super obvious. So you gotta go for it. Right. We've got our pair throw, remember, so we'll keep that just ready and waiting. Oh, God, these guys. Ah, the bones. We pop this again. Jerp's family. Ooh, hello. Hello there. Uh, we'll go in here and get our free shop. I'm never picking up this item again. Fuck that item. <laughs> God damn it. I've so of the of the you basically what it does is it gives you free shops, but when you enter a shop, there's a chance of something negative happening. Well no, it does it, it's not a chance. There's always something negative, but the thing negative the, the random negative thing is random. It can be different things each time. That should not be one of the things. <laughs> 
oh, you, when you enter shops, you get a free shop or something negative happens. And the negative thing is, you don't get to go into your shop. What? How does that make any sense? <laughs> also, of the four times, no, three times, I think, I've had this item, every single time this has happened at least once. Just like, oh, but tell, you could just wait till the end of your floor and then, no, it's just bad. <laughs> The item itself is a cool idea. I actually really like the item, but the fact that that one thing exists makes me never want to pick it up again. God dang. Missed out on an item room and a boss room and an angel deal. It's just stupid. I mean, we got Demon Beggar out of it, but honestly, I'd say on this character, Demon Beggar's kind of shit. He's gonna steal hearts that I don't want him to steal. Book of Shadows, I mean, we'll, we'll take it for the uh, thingy, Bookworm. Uh, has a chance to dig up a chest when used. No chest for us. Pinball. Ooh, that's really good with the whipped cream item. I don't know if we still got that as a wisp. I'm going to assume we do and just take it. Because they've got really high shot speed, which means they get a lot of extra damage. Ooh, hello, item chest. Sister Maggie. I think we pair throw that, honestly. Oh my god. Guillotine. I'll never not take this item. I'm so stupid. I really should just not take it, but that's not me. I'll always take it. Even though every single time I regret it. Calm down, little wispy boys. Don't go in my shop yet. It might fuck me over and make me skip my entire floor. Don't want to do that. Stopwatch. That's a good one to get. That is a good one to get. But yes, I apologize that the salt is uh, the salt is high. It's just that, that one item. It, it's, it's kind of like guillotine, you know. It's one of those items where it's like... I, I feel like at the minute I take it every time I see it because the, the potential of it's too good. But every time I take it, I immediately regret picking it up. It's just one of those things. I better get an angel deal here. Oh, I love the resprite of this dude. I'll say it every time he shows up, but my god, it's so good. No angel deal. Great. We'll take perfection as well. Pop that. And down we go. Hopefully we get a planetarium. That would be uh, that would be the most ideal of things because we've got a twenty one percent chance right now. So also the pinball shots are doing a good amount of damage, which does make me think that we've still got whipped cream in there somewhere. This is also probably our secret room. I don't know why, but I've just gotten really, really good instincts for secret rooms recently. So much better. Also, the Job's family guys. They're doing they're doing pretty good. Not family guy. But the Job family guys <laughs> are doing a pretty good job too. Sticky bombs. Don't even know why I bothered that. I don't even have a key. Now I have a key, but I'm gonna save it. Yeah, I'm straight up probably not gonna go to many of my shops just in case the the uh, item screws me over again unless it's like right at the end of the floor like it is really good if you manage to get that effect at the very end of a floor but it's just like it's it's, it's not in your nature to leave the shop till the end of the floor so it's just you don't keep that in your mind like you see the shop you have enough money you go in it also making shops free is kind of one of those things where it's like in theory it's a really really good like advantage but in practice like, it kind of makes money completely useless. So, like, you can use them on beggars, but like, eh. Shops are really the main the main use case. Ooh, what the hell was that there? We got like some sort of four-leaf clover. 
It hurts. Another cool room here. I like it. I like it a lot. I realise I got pill baby and I'm not using any pills, but acid baby even. But I'm not using any pills, but that's fine. That's rather nice. A bit of piercing on top of all of this. We're on the depths of one, okay. So we can go back. I still think these dudes need a tweak. The fact that they fired two bombs at once, I think, is a little absurd. God damn, all these pinball shots going everywhere. Ooh, also, unique worms. U unique pins. I don't know if you saw that there. I got a mod recently that adds unique sprites for pins on different floors. It's really cool. Right. Whoopsie, lost my perfection. You got this, finally. Oh, you stole my charge, you little bitch boy. You can finally do that. We can pop in here and get the Book of Genesis. Removes a random item, spawns three items of the same quality. Only one can be taken. That sounds really, really cool. I'm 100% down for that. I do wonder if it's going to be of the room pool that you're in or not. I'm guessing it won't be because that would be extremely powerful. But... You can only hope. Um, oh, there's a, the Dharma bug just happened. That's a bit weird, that. More empty hat containers have the higher luck bonus you get. Okay, that's not going to work for us, but whatever. So let's try this out. Let's see if the Book of Genesis does work in here. It definitely does not. It, I don't know what it removed either. Um, it removed guillotine. Hell yes. Okay, so we can take placenta... Hive head at the uh, completion of each room spawns an additional B orbital. Yeah, we'll definitely take hive head. That sounds pretty cool. Like the idea of this. Right, let's go to our shop and get our free items or get teleported to the next floor. It's just. What? It's so common. <laughs> I'd love Adam Asola here, but we can't take it. It's so common. <laughs> Like, what's the point in making shops free if you don't even get to see the shop? Why not? It'd be better if it teleported you there on the way out rather than on the way in, because then you would at least get to see the shop that's, that it's been made free rather than it just like, lol, shop gone, no free items. Like, the fact that we've had this item for this many floors and we haven't had a single item out of... Ooh, what the heck? We haven't had a single item of any of the shops yet. Okay, so what we want to do here is go boom. Make sure we pick up the hearts, because otherwise, Justice. bitch boy McGee will grab them. And then we go suck, suck, suck. Angry fly. What are you going to give us? An item. Nice. It was that. I think we definitely want the extension card right now. Vibrant Bulb, however, is interesting. Now, nah, I'm going to stick with the extension card. I think it's likely to be better. Especially with Angry Fly, actually. Angry Fly makes it really good. There's definitely a little bit of a bug going on with some of the Dawn Mimics. Here's our secret room again. Oh, no. I was, I was wrong this time. Let's do this again. We lost some luck, so I don't know what that was. Um, I think we take Danger Room. When projectiles get close to us, it uh, can give us some stuff for free. Yeah, I'm probably just going to use Book of Genesis constantly to, like, re-roll our run. Hey, we got a Planetarium, finally. Uh, Venus, pretty good. I like Venus. Oh, Venus give oh, it gives us a bunch of charges, I see. Um, BFF. BFF's another kind of good one to have extension card on. I'm liking this extension card build we've got going on right now. Also, these bees from this hive thing is... Doing a pretty good job, too. Definitely say that. Oh, hello. So that costs 10, and we get ourselves Bumbo. And then we get Cuba Meat. Okay, cool. I still need to figure out if that's permanent. Because if it's 10 cent for a permanent familiar, it should definitely be 20. Or maybe 15. Oh, I got the airstrike. We don't need that. Okay, we'll pop uh, this bad boy in here. Don't know what that removed. It would be nice if we got a visual of what it removed. Empty Vessel is really good for us here. Gives us flight permanently and the random invincibility. <laughs> Seems like it can be from any old random pool, which is really good too. Golden Heart, nice. Oh my god, what the hell just happened there? 
Creatine powder. I think these dudes could definitely use a little bit of a sprite update, but otherwise they're a pretty cool enemy. Nice. Let's keep it going. And again, we lost some fire rate. Um, I'm going to go with Bumble here just because more B stuff is interesting. Oop, I forgot. Um, ooh, sometimes spawn shops and shops are always free. And wait. Did this fucking item just get rid of my active item? Did it seriously just get rid of my active item? What is it called? One moment. Okay, I found it. And we are going to go and remove abundance. Because that item needs to go away and not be itself. Because that's not fun. At all. Um, I can't even remember what the book, what, what it was bloody called now. Book of Genesis, was it called? There you go. Back to how he was before. I'm not having, I'm sorry, but I'm not having that. <laughs> like, super fun and cool active item versus free shop that removes active item. No. I will never pick that item up again. Also, what do we get this time? We got members access card. That's kind of interesting. Red poop doesn't hurt. Let's let's hit the members access card here. This is gonna be such a fun run for just re-rolling stuff all the time. By the way, I do realize that that's kind of classed as cheating. I didn't deal with the consequences, but I would rather I would rather cheat a little bit and have more fun and showcase more interesting items than have an item delete items from my inventory and make me skip entire floors. And basically make it never worth going into a shop ever again. Why did I come down here? Um, so, yeah, that's that's my thoughts on that. Um, the developer of said item is from the Golden Collection. I would um, advise you tweak the negatives to be a little more fair and less not fun. <laughs> um, I'm just going to take the negative here. Um, we, we've got 10 seconds to get into our boss rush. I'm going to take Eye of the Occult here. Go to our boss rush. See what we've got. Um, nothing really worth doing boss rush for, I'd say. Although, we could have got a bunch of extra items. Either way. Yeah, I just... Honestly, I just don't find those effects fun. I realized, by the way, that I just removed it, uh, even though I, um, I'm not going to see any more shops for the rest of the run. I realized that, but still, <laughs> it's about the principle of the thing. By the way, it's also, I will, I will just, I do just want to say, I'm very, like, I'm, I'm, I'm normally very honest about my opinions on items and, um, or items and, and things in the game. I'm very rarely that harsh, but... I'm only that- Oh, what the hell is that? The caregiver, tainted, applies an old screen shader over the screen at the start of each floor. A random special room will be duplicated, replacing a random regular room. That's really good, but not fun right now. That sounds really cool, though. Um, but yeah, I'm- I'm- I, I'm very honest. I like to- I like to make sure that I give proper feedback, even if it might be feedback that's a little, um, abrupt or a little hurtful. Um, to the mod creator, I'd rather be brutally honest about what I think. I'm very rarely that harsh with a, with an item, but I do feel very strongly that that item needs some serious tweaking to be a fun item. Like it's by no means is it not is it, by no means is it a bad item in terms of like its idea. It's a very interesting item. I, I like the idea, but the the execution of the of the bad things it can do, I feel just lead to not much fun. Um, a scalpel. Makes you shoot tears in the opposite direction from the front. You will frequently shoot bloody tears that deal uh, less damage. All other weapon types will still be fired from the front as well. Why not? Ooh, with Eye of the Occult, they come out the front. <laughs> That's pretty good. 
Also, do we have like really low range or something? This is weird. Squeezy, tears up, nice. Yeah, we I feel like we have really low range. But yeah, everyone's just constantly evolving because of this book of Genesis. That's why I don't want to get rid of it. We get to see loads more modded items with this book. Um, What's this do? Grant surprise upon defeating the boss without being hit. I'll try that out. I'll try and not get hit. It's why I bought Ghost Baby because there's a chance we just replaced it. We haven't yet, but there's a chance we do. I think it is just random whichever item it takes. Uh, double tap sneeze. Okay, that's not really that good. Hopefully it won't take, like, piercing or spoon bender or uh, eye of the occult. I like all of them. Quite a lot. It did take empty vessel. I'm noticing that now. I'm like, oh, flight, we can go over there. Nope. Not anymore, we can't. Not anymore, we can't. Oh god, these enemies are rough. Thank god we can charm them all to get close. That's why I love Venus. Venus is so useful for that. Ba basically, it completely eliminates contact damage forever. Um, oh, are you kidding? Ah, oh, they spawned a bit too close to me there, I feel. I wasn't really able to actually take the time to look at what the items were. It did seem like all three of them were pretty trash anyways, but it would have been nice to have the chance. SB super fan here. Good thing is as well, we're only re-rolling our normal items. We've still got all of our uh, wisp items that are helping us out. Okay, so try and not get hit against this boss, which honestly has been pretty tough considering the uh, all the, the honey that's been left around. I will say that's made it a little more difficult. There you go. We did it. Oh, no, the item's gone. <laughs> we, just, we just removed it. Are you kidding me? Um, familiar that shoots fires. Lasers can't hurt. And some enemies drop finches. Enemies are damaged by finches. Finches. Finches? I don't know. Little Devil. We'll take Little Devil. We will take Little Devil. God damn, there's honey everywhere. Bottle of piss. Uh, burn hurting juice. Plus one burn heart spawns three burn orbitals. Taking damage spawns a burn orbital. I like a burn hurting juice. Right, down we go. I wonder if it can take the negative off you. That'd be funny. I, I, I probably would think not. I believe Book of Genesis is something from the Jerv mod. If I don't, um, if I recall. Nice. Bit of a range upgrade there. Yeah, 4.5 volts pretty good with this setup. Oh, it's hit it, Rock. Gotcha. Health is looking pretty good too. I'm liking that. We have so many orbitals. We have all of the Wisp orbitals. Then we have Burn orbitals. Then we have these B orbitals. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but I'm loving it. I'm just loving it. That's a lot of brimstone coming my way. It's taking a rather long time to charge up though, I will say that. It's a little less than one pip a room on some rooms. It means it's a little slower to get full charge, but on bosses we charge up hella quick. I really think extension cable is doing God's work right now. It's, it's proving to be so strong. This could be second secret room right here. No. Just looked a little bit like it. I just kind of took that hit on the head and just ran with it. Oh, also, I don't really think 4.5 volt works very well with the red heart charge. You see, you see that there? It's like, done like a, a millibar of charge. Okay, there you go. It's gone over. Good. Oh, why'd I do that? I walked right into that. I kind of assumed that I'd have stopped firing at the end of the room, but clearly not. Okay, 
Very good. Let's play for one more time. Ooh, Serpent's Kiss. Actually, Serpent's Kiss got nerfed, didn't it? BFF, let's do that. Three, two, one. Oh, I was way early. Wow, way early. Okay, we might lose a few wisps here, but we'll try our best nonetheless. God, honestly, the honey from this little bee dude is super frustrating. Like, I don't know if it's a good idea for it to make you personally stick into it, because it kind of makes it a pretty bad item, I've got to admit. Star of Bethlehem, definitely. Yeah, it kind of makes it a, a kind of bad item. But I kind of, that's, I'm guessing that's just the point. It's meant to be a bit bad. Okay. I think we, oh, this is kind of difficult because I do want a lot of these. <clears throat> I think we definitely take this at least. Yeah, it gives us conjoined. There's a whole lot of good for us that. Just because the eye of the occult, we're making all the tiers go basically where exactly where we want them. Which is real nice. I keep thinking I'm like lagging really heavily, but in actual fact, I just keep walking over the honey and it slows me down so drastically. This is a beautiful run though, this. A beautiful run. Also, it seems that the um, Unique Sins is working correctly now. There's um, Entropy again. We'll take Entropy. Go, Bumba. Grow, my lad. Oh, yes. That's a lot of extra tears. <laughs> this is this is the sort of um, synergy that lowers your frame rate. <laughs> At first, we were getting a little, a little few dips in our frame rate. Now it's like, welcome to the FPS drop zone. <laughs> it's not actually too bad. We're only going to about 40 at the lowest. Even then, that's kind of rare. Papa fly. And we get Pisces. I've not been paying attention at all to which uh, which items I've been using, uh, losing, sorry. Like I said, it'd be nice to somehow give a visual of what item you lose. Maybe like give it the hold over your head animation as it does it. Although that might be too, too easy. Oh, strawberry milk, heck yes. Strawberry milk's incredible. The homing is so good too. The fact that we've still got Spoonbender after all of this is pretty nice. It's just such a great wacky run. And it's like we're not even that reliant on our wisps either. Like we don't have tons of them. We're not getting that many of them. Just working out nicely. Nice. Definitely it's more likely on these runs that by the end of the floor you're uh, by the end of the run you're gonna be getting some fairly heavy lag, like dropping at least 10 or 15 frames, but part and parcel for the, uh, that's just how this works, isn't it? Oh, Play-Doh cookie, hell yes. And, ooh, new item. Uh, occasionally shoots waves of fire. Oh my. That's a lot of waves of fire. Ah, oh, we finally lost Spoonbender. Although, I really don't think it matters all that much with this setup. We... Oh, we lost Eye of the Occult as well. We just lost two of our best items and traded them for two really good items. So, I don't particularly mind. We are a little low on HP here. We got to be a bit careful. Probably should just pop the wild card. There you go. That's so cool. Don't you dare, you little shitbag. Okay, actually, let's let Bumbo do some eating here. We might be able to get some good use out of him in this last fight. Kind of forgot we had Star of Bethlehem, not gonna lie. <laughs> Worked out pretty well for us, didn't it? There you go. What a beautiful run. What a beautiful run. Thank God for Book of Genesis. It really helped out. It's a definite interesting item, though, because it's kind of like having the Genesis uh, active, but like... In a, like progressively. I think it's a really cool item. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Very, very good indeed, and I will see you guys in the next one.